And we begin with the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon, where the hosts have won their opening game against 2013 runners-up Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso scored first, but Cameroon's indomitable Lions live up to their name, coming back to win it 2-1. to one. It's a nice way for the hosts to start the competition that they've been waiting quite a while for. Cameroon had been set to host the 2019 tournament, but it was moved to Egypt after delays in preparation. The 2021 competition was then pushed to this January due to the coronavirus pandemic. Well, for more uh, on that opening game, I am joined by Eurosport journalist Ruben Slagter. Uh, Ruben, thanks for being with us again. Can you tell us what did you think about this opening game? Is it a sign that Cameroon is going to go all the way? I don't know if it will be all the way. No, I think it's a really important win for them, though. I think that uh, Burkina Faso was the strongest team they, they are meeting in their group. So with winning this first match, they can now probably win their group. And winning their group gives them an easier path to the semifinals. And that's quite important for the hosts as well. Were they that impressive? Not so much. It was most of all Burkina Faso that made their own mistakes by conceding two penalties. Same time, it was it was a nice match to watch. It was dynamic. There happened uh, happened a lot. Not that dull as often uh, the opening matches in a tournament are. So it was it was fun to watch. Were they so convincing to win the tournament? I'm not so sure. All right. Well, then, who do you think could win the tournament? Tell us about some of the other key teams and players we should be keeping an eye on. Well, the the main favorites are defending champions Algeria, who won in, in 2019, and the runners up Senegal. I think that. Those teams, uh, Algeria led by Manchester City star Riyad Mahrez and uh, Senegal with uh, most of all Sadio Mane from Liverpool, they should be the main favourites to win this tournament. At the same time, the good thing about the African Cup of Nations is that there's, there are always uh, uh, surprises, so we're just waiting for them to come and that's also why we like to fo follow it that much. Cameroon as a hosting team, why not? Uh, the pressure is high because it's uh, it's a football crazy country. But they're not uh, the main favorites for me. All right, Ruben Slachter of Eurosport, thank you very much for joining us and for following the Africa Cup of Nations with us here on France 24. The next game between Ethiopia and Cap Verde starts in less than an hour. As with all of the games, you can follow it on our live blog. That's on our website, of course, France24.com.